Hello everybody, a happy Monday to you. So we're gonna get into shorthand, continuing our study of the Greg Anniversary Edition. Section 13 is what we're on right now. So we have this reading and dictation exercise. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the dictation exercise, but I will do the reading, okay? Let's go ahead and get into it. So what is being said here? If you remember from our previous section, we've already covered the ability to make primitive, or uh, they're called brief forms, using just the simple strokes of the, Greg, uh, of the Greg system. And we've also learned some of the basic words that you can create. So I'm gonna go ahead and read off this text. So this first dot right here, this is the article a. Uh. So a. Uh, Day d a e here here in the good air will aid her, and then your forward slash for the uh, full stop the full stop the period going on. I cannot. So this is a phrasing principle, right? I cannot hear him. Well. I cannot hear him well, comma. Can he hear me, question mark. Can he hear me, question mark. And then here, the, and then this one, the hat, the hat lay there. So notice the and there, both th, different forms of the th, and they're used ones for the, the other one is for there. The hat lay there, n, now notice it depends, it could be a or n, you always do n before a vowel, so it would be a, a vowel or h, so the hat lay there, an hour, an hour, period. And then here, this is her, now notice, you don't always have to have the dot. And so even though it says her, right, there's an H there, you can leave it off because it's understood. It's er, er, and so her, gay air will not go well here. Her gay air will not go well here. And then going on, I am going, semicolon. I am going. Emma, that's a uh, that's a proper name. Now, it, it, these names are a little bit tricky because I'm not sure exactly what they are. So when you're reading through this, it is very contextual. You have to sit there and look at the symbols that came before, the symbols that uh, precede a particular stroke, and that will that will help to guide you on the direction you're supposed to go with analysis. So, Emma may go now, or may go in not, may go in a, uh, in an hour. So, Emma may go in an hour. Going on, Amy, that's, uh, that's another proper name. Amy hid, id her hat in the tree. Hid it in the tree. Going on, I can go there in an, in a day, in a day. Going on, scroll down, in a day. Going on, Ray, the proper name, Ray will aid her at the hill. Ray will aid her at the hill. I am, I am ill. I am ill. I cannot go. Are there, and uh, so that, that was another section. Uh, next sentence. Are there more going in the dray? So this, this word's a little bit, it's a little bit 
interesting in that it's an older word. So dray was another name for a heavy cart used for transportation at that time. So are there more going in the dray? D -r -a, dray. I hear Eddie will aid me in Erie. I hear Eddie will aid me in Erie in May. Going on. Ella, Ella will not heat the tea. Ella will not heat the tea. He can go in at he can go there in an hour. He can go there go there in an hour. He lay there an hour. He lay there an hour. A good aim will aid him. And then there's supposed to be a comma here. So a good aim will aid him, comma, will it not? A good aim will aid him, will it not? Scrolling down a little more. Three more sentences, I believe. In an hour, in an hour, he will go. So in an hour, he will go. I will go in uh, in an hour. I will go in an hour. The tea tray lay there an hour. So notice in this example we've used a lot of those primitive words. So it's it, it's really it's really necessary to start uh, memorizing these brief forms as soon as possible so that you can use them and so that you're thinking in terms of brief forms as you study the text and also when you are trying to apply uh, uh, Greg shorthand, it's good to already begin to have the stock of brief forms in your mind. Uh, but don't uh, don't worry. If, if you need backup, uh, of course, the manual is available on my GitHub repository. And also, the um, I have an entire sheet of all the brief forms that are available in the Greg Anniversary Edition. And you'll find that useful when you are trying to do your own transcription. So now we're going to get into, we're going to get into Unit 2, Circles Between Strokes. All right. So where an angle or a point is formed at the junction of consonants, the circle goes outside the angle. So let's go ahead and pull up another document over here. Here we go. So the word kick. So this is k -i -k. So we have k -i -k. just a little bit bigger. K -i -k. K -i -k. And then cake is the same as kick, except instead of an E circle, it's an A. It's an A group circle, so it's going to be larger. K, A, K. Still a little bit. There we go. K, A, K. Okay. And then get. G, E, T. Get. Gate. G, A, gate calm we've actually covered calm already in a previous in a previous section but here we go so k um mm, k a m mm. now let's go ahead i think i think this example requires us to have the vowel yeah the uh, the vowel strokes as well so let's go ahead and do that just for practice so kick is the short sound of e it doesn't require any special stroke cake a is a long sound so it needs a stroke underneath get is the medial sound for the e vowels so it requires a dot gate same as cake long sound so 
a. Calm. Now, calm is interesting. I think it requires a dot. No, it doesn't. Let's see here. It does. It's considered the medial, the medial sound of a. So let's go ahead and put a dot for calm. Calm. Make. That's going to be a long sound for a. So m a k make, and it has a stroke. Met. M a t m a t, and it's the medial sound for e. So we do a dot. Made long sound. So m a t. Now one nice thing is even though it says made here and it's spelled as you know. Um, a lady of the house who cleans, uh, um, then, or cleans or, or does whatever, uh, domestic chores. Uh, so even though it's spelled that way, uh, it can also be used, since this is a phonetic uh, uh, transcription, you can use that in the same way that you would, he made a mess for the maid to clean up. Wasn't she made? <laughs> okay, so there's, there's made. Team. E, m, mm, stroke underneath. So notice in each of these ex in each of these examples, the circle is going on the outside. What's the exact wording they use? I go there. It says, Cir um, "Circles between strokes, where an angle or point is formed at the junction of consonants, the circle goes outside the angle." So these are all occurring outside the angle. And then we go the word rear. So this is er, e, er. So er, ear. And it's a long sound of e. So we put a stroke underneath. Notice this is only for practice. You don't have to include these strokes in your actual writings. Rain. Er, a, n. And it's the long sound of a. So we get it's a stroke. Er, a, n. Rim, er, i, m, and this is the short sound for e. Doesn't require any strokes. Tail, t, a, o, t, a, o, and that's a little bit. It's not straight enough. It has to. If it's curved, then it's the tail. There we go. So t, a, l, and that is the long sound for a. So it requires a stroke. Rainy. Er, a, n, and then this one, I think it curves down at the end. I should know this by now. It does, yeah. It, it curls its uh, clockwise, uh, clockwise motion. If you remember last week where we spoke of if you have a simple stroke, then the curve, if it's straight, if it's a straight stroke, then it, the curve is uh, right, right motion or clockwise. So here we go, rainy, er, a, n, e, and rainy. So it's this is two strokes because both of those sounds are long. Now let me confirm that that is the case. Oh, so in the example, they don't have a stroke on the final e. Interesting. So rainy. Now we have the final word, dream. D, er, e, mm, that's a little bit. Dream, dream, dream. That, that M is a little bit too long, but I'll let it stand for right now. So, which words do we have? Kick, cake, get, gate, calm, make, met, made, team, rear, rain, rim, tail, rain, rainy, and dream. There we go. So that is section 14. And let's go ahead and get back to our notes and see. Let's do a little side by side comparison to see how well I did. So this is this is my example. And here's our PDF viewer. So show that. So let's see here. There is their there is their version. Here's my version. What do you think? Think it's close enough? Should we let it fly? Maybe a 90%. <laughs> All right, so that was section 14. Now moving on to section 15. And 15 is going to be the same thing. We'll take a look at their example and then 
we will write out the strokes. Where straight strokes and curves join without an angle, or where two similar motion curves join without an angle, the circle is placed inside the curve. So where straight strokes and curves join without an angle, or where two similar motion curves join without an angle, the circle is placed inside the curve. Let's go ahead and start writing this. Writ. So we don't have to worry about the W. This is just the R sound. So we have R, I, T. So R, I, T. Little, I can do a little better than that. Writ. R, I, T. Writ. And this doesn't require any sort of strokes. Rid. R, I, D. Notice only difference between a D and a T is the length of the stroke. Rid. Red. This is going to be the same as rid. The only difference being is we are going to put a dot because it's the medial sound for the e vowel group. And then read. Er, e, d. And then a stroke underneath to show the difference. Rid, red, read. Rate. Er, a, t. And I can make that circle just a little bigger. Er, a, and this is the long sound for A. Rate. Raid. R, A, D. Raid. Ticket. T, E. So this one is going to be T, E, K, E, T. Ticket. T, E, K, et. And let me confirm. That, do they want anything on that? All they want is to show the difference between the two dots or between the two vowels. I, e, ticket. Okay. Tack. T, a, k, tack. Take. T, a, k. Only difference is a stroke underneath. Deck. D, a, k. And this is the medial sound, so deck. And dig, d, e, g. Notice the difference between deck and a dig is the length of the stroke, and this is also the short e vowel. Tag, t, a, g. Make just a little bit longer. T, a, g, tag. Taken, t, a, k, n, taken. And this is a stroke or a stroke underneath the A circle. Rattle. R, A, T, O. Rattle. R, A, T, O. Rattle. Riddle. R, E, D, O. Riddle. Rattle, riddle. And that, those are both the short sounds. So there we go. Writ, rid, read, read, rate, raid, ticket, tack, take, deck. Dig, tag, taken, rattle, riddle. All right. So that was our, that was the rule for circ, um, for vowels when they occur between strokes that are in the same direction. Or what was the actual wording? Where straight strokes and curves join without an angle. So let's go ahead and take a look at their examples. And of course, this is available on my GitHub repository. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Annotation, so there we go. So there is their version, writ, rid, and then here is mine. So you see there is some room for artistic license, uh, a little bit difference in the strokes. So you see they've got a little bit more of a curve. I should do that more. Uh, a little bit more of a curve on their R's. Mine's a little bit more gradual, as you can see. One reason why you want to put a little bit more of an abrupt turn is to differentiate it. If you were to write quickly, you don't want to accidentally think of that as an N or an M. So having a little bit of a little tail on the beginning helps to uh, helps to differentiate it. And there we go. So I think I got them all right. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. So this has been day. Oh. I don't know what day we're on. Are we on day 26, 27, somewhere like that <laughs> um, of 
make a daily video challenge. This has been Shorthand. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.